Can you imagine making something this gorgeous and having it on a table for a party that you might do? <gasps> you know what? We are now releasing a die that can make this and so much more. Are you ready? Get set. Now, actually, we have three different items being released. And I honestly, I don't know if I could pick my favorite. That's how awesome these are. This is a really, really, really exciting release because oh i don't even know what to say <laughs> okay let's just jump in because we have so much to talk about number one is our new card base design that is really fun don't worry i'm going to show you in this video how to make it so don't worry it is called a crisscross card it's a2 and without i mean i can show you what it looks like on the inside but let me show you in real life what it does First of all, it does a crisscross. Look at that crisscross. See it? And look at that. That flower whoa, spins. Look at that. Isn't that? Hang on. Let me get a good shot. There we go. Look at that. It spins. Now, of course, there are layering dies. Of course, it is easy. Let me just tell you. So easy peasy. I have a sample I'm going to make for you at the end of this video. Number one. That is one of the first items. Number two is party panels. Now you're saying party panels, I don't get it. Well, our gatefold cards, also our regular just A2 cards, also our, and I'm gonna leave that surprise for you in just a second, something else to use. I have like, I think five different ways to use this. Stay tuned. Last but not least are those rosette dies I showed you at the beginning. We have three different options. Now, well, I'm sorry, they're all in the same kit, so that's awesome, but the cool thing about this is if you want them to be smaller, you're just gonna die cut it and use your trimmer and cut off some of the bottom. Okay, stay tuned. Oh, so much to talk about. Let's do the rosettes first, because first of all, hello, is this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life? Imagine having this as a table display. So beautiful, you could even do one for Christmas all in green and put little, little epoxy dots on it for Christmas. Oh, so beautiful, I love it. It's just so stunning. I'm just gonna have to leave it on my desk for a while because it's beautiful. Now let's look at some of the other rosettes. I want to show you what they look like and we'll do the overhead camera so you can really see. You are gonna die cut each one two times. Now that's the same as that one, so we'll put that one there. Here is another, look at that gorgeous lacy edge. And here's another gorgeous lacy edge. Here's that one again, so beautiful. You can put anything on the center. You could put a die, you could put a button, I and then this would go on the back. So I highly recommend you use a hot glue gun if you have one. You can use liquid glue, but I recommend you using like a little bull clip, and I had one here, but now it's gone. A little bull clip to hold them together. You're gonna cut two, so this is one here, and this is one here. Look at how cute that is, little, sun, little sand dollar stickers on the back. But you're getting three options for that edge. You are getting the dot with the wave, you are getting our fun little edge right there, and you're getting this fun little eyelet edge. Now, more samples to show you. Look at this gorgeous, look at them on a card. Oh, now, of course you wouldn't wanna mail this, but if you were giving it to someone in person, look at how gorgeous this is. Now, if you're gonna give something like this to somebody in person, use a clear envelope because you gotta get some credit for how gorgeous this is from everybody, right? Look at that, isn't that stunning? Now, you know how much I love my banners. You know how much I love my banners. Imagine having something like this on your door, right? When you celebrate Happy Fourth, I also like to decorate my fridge. I have all these different things. I use Tiffany's magnets, the big magnet strips that are that are sticky on the back, and you could even put this on your refrigerator. Happy Fourth USA, love it. Or you could even do a banner like this USA <gasps> with those fun, fun rosettes on it. Absolutely, positively, makes it more 3D, makes it have extra texture, so fun. That's the rosettes. Now, let's look at this crisscross die because let me tell you, they are stunningly beautiful. Yes, we are giving you the layering dies. Yes, we are also giving you a die that gives you the option to make those little pinhole flowers on it. And it comes with that cute little flower on the inside. Isn't that adorable? Okay, let's look at another one. You don't have to use the flower. You could use anything you want. Here, we've used a cute little rainbow die cut. 
totally cute. Stickers on all different sizes. You get to decorate all the pieces, but look at how cute. Imagine having this on display. You give this to somebody, they're gonna display it for a month minimum, right? Because wow, that is like a work of art. Here's another cute one. Don't forget, you can also use different pattern papers. So now's a chance where you have pattern papers that maybe you might not necessarily, you don't, they're not your absolute positively favorite. Perfect for this, because you can do a whole bunch of different background papers on here. Look at this, so many different options that it looks awesome, right? It all goes together. That cute little flower on the inside, love it. Here's another one. Oh, again, lots of pattern papers. You're getting to use all of those fun pattern papers. Look at that fun little flower in there, I love it. Oh, here's another one. Now, the cool thing about this, the pinhole dots, and I think you can really see it on this one, is those pinhole dots match the flower that's on the inside. So it's the same flower, so it really, really coordinates together. Now. Before I show you how to make this, let's talk about the party panels. The party panels, lots of options. Number one, you can, it's four different dies in the set. You can do two side by side for a card base. I mean, for the front of an A2, right? Or you could put them on our regular gatefold, right? Because of course, yes, they fit on our regular gatefold card. Party, look at that. The party stays in there, which is really cool. So that's another option. Or, look at this, you guys, ready, ready? Okay, it says party, but look at this. What, you can see through it, look. You can see through it, look, you can see my hand. Party, imagine that, that is gorgeous. Look at that, you guys. Party, and that's part of the card. Isn't that cool? I love it, I love it, love it, love it. So that's another way you can do it. But wait, there's more, my friends, because then you can do just one on the front, right, party, and you're using just the words. I love that. It's so fun with the little um, snowflake or the little confettis in the back. Using the confetti to make a background, A2. That's another option. Here's another option. I, okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's six, six different versions. Here's one using our gatefold peekaboo. Remember, it had the different corners. Gatefold peekaboo, open it up. This one's Velcroed, I think, Velcroed a little. Oh, sticky Velcro. Open it up. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. There's our party on the front. Look at that. So that's number five. Let's try to get that to stand up. Now, number six, I don't have a sample of because I remember I don't tell my design team what to do. I just give them the products and let them have fun. That way I get more different ideas, right? Well, guess what, my friends? That party panel, and if I had one right here, I thought I did, but that party panel or those fun little confettis will fit. If you take our bookmark die, take the inside out, you can drop it in our bookmark die. Fun, right? How fun is that? You could drop it in our bookmark die. Oh, I have another idea. Okay, number seven is the, sh the, the little fun confetti one can also go on our stand-up dies. Fits perfect on our stand-up dies. So many ideas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ways to use those party panels. And guess what? More panels are coming. They're so much fun. So make sure you check those out. Now, before I let you go, I really want to show you how to make the crisscross card because it looks kind of weird, but once you see it put together, you're like, oh, I get it. Easy. You know if it comes from me, it's going to be easy, right? You know I don't do difficult because I don't want to do it. Why should you? Here we go. Here's the die set itself, and I've already used this one a couple times, but here's the die set itself. You're getting the card base. You are getting the two layering dies, there and there, and you're getting these optional pinhole dies, right? Pinhole. You are also getting the flower. This is the shadow. This is the fun stringy one and the inside to the flower. Now, I'm just doing a basic one because I've already shown you some awesome ideas, but I want you to see how easy this is to put together. For example, you will need to cut four different of these, right? Four, one, two, three, four. Now, you can mix and match. You can do all pattern paper, you can do all cardstock, and then do, do layers on them if you want. You get to decide. So many different options. Now, keep in mind, you will get four circles. I recommend a couple things with these circles. Do not put them in your scrap box, okay? They'll get lost, they'll get ruined, they'll get messed up. Put them in with your nested circles, your folder for your nested circles, your little pocket, your stamp pocket, or your die pocket, 
or put them in with one of our circle flippets because the large circle flippet will fit perfect with this, right? Don't let these go in your scrap pile because they'll just get messed up, just saying. Now, what are we gonna do with these four? They, there is a score line on them and we are just going to score it there and we're gonna score it on all the lines, okay? There, oops, there, either way, it doesn't matter. And there, one, two, three, four. Now I have all four scored, right? I am gonna take one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting these together. I'm gonna lay this one down first, so this will be my base, kind of, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some adhesive. Well, let's start with this one as the base so you can really see it. I'm gonna add some adhesive all the way around, just like that. Now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna have it folded and I'm going to line it up perfectly on those corners. Make sure you're checking those corners. Remember, it's the same die, so it's gonna line up perfect on those corners, okay? It's folded. Now I'm gonna take this one, it's folded. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, line it up just like that, okay? Now, so now I have this almost done. Now you could do it actually three if you wanted. <laughs> okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some string, twine, string, thread, whatever you like, whatever you like. Remember, I still have one piece to go, I still have this piece to go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this in. You can use uh, liquid glue, you can use regular, whatever you want, you can use adhesive. I'm gonna grab some liquid glue and I am just going to get a little bit in there. Let's get some out, there we go, come on. Oh, squirt, okay, there we go. So we're gonna add some liquid glue right there, add some liquid glue like right there. Now you really want this, this twine to be tight so I'm gonna kinda make sure I have one tail here hanging out so I can tighten it if I need to. So I'm just gonna lay that in. Now I'm gonna add adhesive to this and I don't wanna mess that up at all. So I'm gonna add adhesive to this side. And I could use liquid glue too, doesn't matter. I'm gonna add adhesive to both sides. There we go. And then I am going to piece this together. Just like that, just like that, four pieces. If I wanted to do a try, I could have. It wouldn't have been a crisscross, but it would have been a try. Now I'm gonna line that up. There we go, squeeze that together. Now, this little string, I'm gonna tighten just a little. Don't pull too hard, or you could hold there and then pull. There we go. And I'm gonna let that dry, right? I'm gonna let that dry. But there is my crisscross. I will eventually trim this, right? You don't need a tail. I will eventually trim that, but I want this to be as tight as possible. So I'm literally gonna hold this again, and I'm gonna pull it tight and I'm gonna let it dry just like that. I want that string to be tight. Now, I have my two flowers cut out, and of course you would decorate yours and you'd make yours really, really pretty, but I am going to add adhesive to the back, and I am going to, once this is, I would recommend doing it when it's dry, but you can do it while it's wet, and you want to hold that down and make sure that string is tight. I really, really, really like it when the string is very tight because it makes it spin better. And we're gonna lay this one down just like that, and boom. Now, we're gonna let it dry, but look at how cute that is. What, look, ready? Whoa! Look at that, isn't that awesome? So easy peasy, and I have all of these layering pieces that I can still decorate. So one side could be my message, but the other sides I get to decorate. If you don't wanna decorate that much, use pattern paper. You don't have to decorate if you don't want to, but look at the stunning, when you send a card like this to someone, they're gonna go, what the heck, you're a genius. That's what they're gonna say. They're gonna say, man, that Mary, she knows what she's doing. She knows how to make cards. <laughs> club members, come on, you know the deal. You're getting the club discount on all of these products. Every single product I use, okay, we don't sell the scissors, but every single product I use, you get a club discount 15, 20% off the entire website as long as you're a club member. Go check out our website, thestampsoflife.com. You know what, I'll see you soon, bye-bye.
Thank you. 